Hello, my name is Anton and I'm your guide to Kadana. Kadana provides you static analysis engines packaged within a Docker container and the reporting dashboard where you can browse the results of the analysis. You can integrate the linter to run in any CI of your choice and then you can upload the reports to a dashboard where you can browse the results and analyze the status of the project. In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up Kadana static analysis with GitHub Actions and integrate the workflow with Kadana Cloud dashboard to display the reports. For the demo, I have a fork of the famous Spring Pet Clinic application and uh, I will try to configure Kadana static analysis for this project. I also logged in into Kadana Cloud dashboard where I will display the reports. And for configuring Kadana with GitHub Actions, we provide Kadana scan action. So I'm going to use the instructions from this page for configuring Kadana scan in my workflow configuration. So I already downloaded the project into my ID and I have created a dedicated branch for adding Kadana configuration. So I'm going to modify the GitHub Actions workflow configuration that they already have. Uh, let me modify the title and I'm going to run this workflow only for a specific branch, the new branch that I have created. I called it Kadana. There is a build job that is actually a matrix build job and uh, I'm going to reuse that. It's a, I think it's a good idea to use it as a first step before I actually run the analysis because the build takes less time than the analysis. So before actually running the analysis, I want to make sure that the project is healthy, uh, it builds, it compiles, and then I can proceed with static analysis of this project. But for this kind of sanity check, I think it will be enough to build with the most recent Java version this time. And I'm going to upgrade the actions that we use in this workflow to the most recent versions. And now I need to add Kadana scan configuration that I can take from the documentation page. Let's see, there is a Kadana step that I want to use. Let me paste it to my configuration. Okay, and once the report is generated, we want to send it to Kadana Cloud dashboard. And for that, we need to configure a special variable that is called Kadana token. So if this is configured, the linter will take the report, package it, and send it to Kadana Cloud with a secret token that we need to configure in our GitHub project. So the workflow configuration is complete but we also need to add the Kadana linter configuration file where we specify the version of the linter that we want to use and the profile uh, that includes the number of checks that will be run during the analysis phase. I'm going to add it into my GitHub repository and uh, just commit. But before I send the changes, Back to the GitHub repository, I need to configure the secret token that will be used to send the reports to Kadana Cloud. For this, let me create a new project in Kadana Cloud first. I'm going to call it Pet Clinic. And it generates a new token so I could use it as a secret token for sending the reports into this dashboard. Let's now configure the secret token in the GitHub repository. Under the settings, in secrets, we have actions menu, and we are going to add a new secret, Kadana token, and paste the token that we just acquired from Kadana dashboard. and we can push the changes back to GitHub repository. So now the changes are 
sent to the repository and the workflow should trigger. First, it builds the project and then it runs the static analysis. Okay, it seems that I failed to configure it correctly for the first time. First of all, I forgot to add a dependency between the Kadana and the build, and I have mistyped the secrets for the secret token we added into the configuration. Let's fix that. So let's fix a typo, and we're gonna say that it needs build to complete successfully before it starts. Let's commit and push like this. And let me check the status again. So the build is in progress now and I'm going to wait a little bit. Okay, a little fast forward. I have made the changes to the project a few times to trigger the workflow. Uh, initially, we fixed our workflow configuration and it succeeded. And then I made a few changes to the project. Then the formatting failed. Then some initial checks failed in the workflow so that the static analysis phase was not executed. And then I fixed that as well. So now I have two successful runs for the workflow with static analysis checks. And if I go to the dashboard in Kadana Cloud, I can see two reports. The first one doesn't contain any problems, any critical problems that could be found with the profile that I have configured for these checks. And uh, the other one includes two problems that I have introduced into the code uh, on purpose, just for the demo. And I can actually enable more checks for this specific project. When I go to the checks tab and find some inspection, for instance, duplicated code fragment, if I enable that, the configuration changes and I can just download the new configuration into my project and run the workflow again. I will actually enable the license checks as well. So the configuration for the license checks is also added. Let's download the file to the project directly, replace the existing configuration, and just commit this new configuration. Once the workflow completes, we can see another report in the dashboard with the new results and we can see that the license checked did not pass because some of the dependency licenses are not compatible with the project license. So that might be a problem. And basically now we have a working static analysis phase for the project that executes with GitHub Actions workflow and we can monitor the health of the project. So I hope it was useful. In the next videos, I'm going to look into more scenarios of how you can use Kadana static analysis in your projects and how you can set it up with different CI servers. Thank you for watching and keep your code healthy.